This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time we're going to be playing with Gym Knights, utilizing the new Link Monster, Gym Knight Phantom Core. Now, this card does a lot for Gym Knights in terms of how it changes the demographic of how the deck can function. It essentially replaces Levolvol Chain if you were, you know, playing way back in the day, like 2013 Gym Knights, where you'd rabbit into two vanillas, make Levolvol Chain dump Gym Knight Fusion to search it. This card gives you another way to search uh, Gym Knight Fusion, which is great uh, in multiple ways. Off Grinder Golem combos, uh, the deck can search Gym Knight Fusion pretty much all the time. Uh, off either rabbit, off of a brilliant fusion play, off of uh, off of just. Um, Grinder Golem, all that sort of stuff. The deck is more consistent now than it has ever been with the utilization of Grinder Golem and with the utilization of Rabbit and all this sort of stuff. Now, the deck also sort of becomes an FTK deck, which is kind of scary. And it's a really consistent FTK deck because it doesn't require any outside engine cards other than just good extenders. Like, you don't require Grinder Golem for the FTK at all. Like, Grinder Golem is great because it uses seven cards out of your extra deck. Unless you dig and set up, you know, Gym Knight Fusion and stuff like that. But otherwise, like, the deck can do all those unfair things on its own without Grinder Golem anyway. The reason Grinder Golem is in this list is because if you're going to test something, test the extremes. Don't just mess around and be like, oh, I could test this because it's less broken than this. No, test the most extreme version of what you have access to because then you start identifying trends of what makes these things good and you can apply that to a lessened card pool, like if Grinder Golem got hit by the time we got this card or something like that. Like, it's it's something to just implement into your own testing window. Like, I see a lot of people that aren't really too fond of the Grinder Golem combos when, truth be told, they're not really that insane. They do do a lot. I'm not going to argue against that, but in terms of what it does, it's not really that insane. In terms of it doesn't really take away anything from your opponent. All it does is, like, build your board. Now, there's arguments to say why that could be degenerate in the fashion that Grinder Golem allows, but still, like, if you're going to test something, if you're going to bitch about it, at least test with it. Don't handicap yourself to not play with it just because you think that you're better than that or you think that it's not worth it to do. Like, play the most extreme version of whatever you're allowed to play because by the time this comes over to the TCG, you might not be able to play that, but you'll have the knowledge of what made that good that you can apply in different areas, and that makes you a better player overall and better at deck building. But anyway, with that rambling out of the way, let's not waste too much more time. Let's jump straight into the gameplay for this deck because it's been a long time since I've played Gym Knights on this channel. It's a deck that I've messed around with a lot in the past, and I'm actually super excited to be able to do some more videos with Gym Knights utilizing this new Link Monster. So let's jump straight in. Alright, so let's see how this goes. Alright, okay, cool. So I'm gonna be going second unless my opponent just lets me go first, and my hand is really good. My opponent has let me go first. Wow, what a time to be alive. Okay, so I could use Brilliant Fusion and then Normal Summon Rescue Rabbit um, and go into Phantom Core and then Brilliant Fusion. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, so I've got Brilliant Fusion and Gym Knight Fusion plus this stuff, so even if I get Ashed here, I'm not worried about that. This is actually like the bait. For the Ash, as weird as that sounds. Uh, always summon the Lapises first because those give you access into your Lady Lapis Lazuli, the the hard fusion summon way. So that's uh, that's good. Uh, and then what we have access to is where is it? Phantom Core. Here it is. So Phantom Core up here. Use its effect to add a Gym Knight card from my deck to my hand. I'm going to add a copy of Obsidian because I already have Gym Knight Fusion and Brilliant Fusion. Uh, so what I'll be able to do is I'll be able to Brilliant Fusion here. I can Brilliant Fusion for Lady uh, Lady Brilliant Diamond, uh, and then that would allow me to tribute this uh, to summon my Lapis Lazuli uh, from the extra deck or my Master Diamond later. Uh, it gives me a few different options of what I'm capable of doing. So I will summon this. I'm going to send uh, a Lazuli, a Lazuli, he he he, and a uh, I guess a Garnet. Yeah, sure. I guess a Garnet because I've got two I've got two Vanillas in Grave, uh, which can be added back off of this. So this is actually just really good. Um, so both Lazulis here. Uh, so I'll target that one, and then I'll target the Garnet, just so I make sure I'm not targeting the same monster with two different effects. Um, and that's good to go. So now what I've got access to is this is at zero zero, but that's fine. Uh, that's not ever what we were trying to focus on. Uh, so what I can do is I can go into my Lady Lapis Lazuli here, 
using Lapis and Obsidian. So that can come out right here. The Obsidian's effect can trigger, special summoning the Lapis over here. And now, suddenly, we're, uh, we're cooking with gas, essentially. Uh, because what I can do is I can now activate this, sending the Lazuli from my deck to grave to burn for 2k. And then this Lazuli's effect will trigger, adding back this Lapis. And now I get to start looping my Gym Knight Fusion back to my hand over and over again. And things just start getting way out of hand uh, with how that starts functioning. Uh, I don't have any additional Normal Summon that I would really be benefited to do with this. Uh, but this can go into my Master Diamond, which is going to be important. Um, I actually think I need to open more Extra Deck Zones. Uh, but I can also Master Diamond... Can I Master Diamond three times this turn? Um, I think that I can. Uh, that's going to be what makes or breaks this, is if I can Master Diamond three times. Uh, so what I'll do is I'm going to tribute this. I'm going to tribute her herself for my Master Diamond here. And then I'm going to activate this Gym Knight Fusion. And I'm going to summon the other Master Diamond using this, uh, Obsidian, and Garnet. Uh, so that puts another Special Summon monster on my field. Uh, so the Obsidian will special summon my Garnet over here. And then I get to utilize this to banish my Lady Lapis Lazuli. My opponent has surrendered. Okay. He sees what's coming. But basically, that's that's how this goes, essentially, is that you just you have access to FTKs almost all the time. And that could be really scary when this deck comes out into the TCG. FTKs are scary, my dude. It's a problem. But anyway, next game, I guess. All right. Let's see how this goes. Okay, we're going second again. Or we lost rock, paper, scissors again. Is this opponent going to let me go first too? Nope. Not so lucky this time, but I do have Ash Blossom. E, emergency call. What is that? Shadow Mist? Sure, man. Okay. <laughs> uh-huh. Set a card. Uh-huh. Set a card. Uh-huh. Actually, this Shadow Mist is going to suck for me. Actually, no. It doesn't suck at all. Because um, I can get rid of all of my shit before ever doing anything. Yeah. Neat. Okay, so I'll special summon my grinder golem tokens. I can bounce his Dark Law before ever having to do anything. All that matters is whether or not this Link Karibo makes it to my graveyard or not. So if he doesn't go into Dark Law right here... He, he's lost. This man has lost. You've lost the duel. Cool. Mass change. Right here. Yeah, sure. Cool. It's not going to do anything unless you snipe this grinder golem out of my hand. Is, does this even do anything? Adds a card from deck to hand, so he can't even snipe the grinder golem. Sir, you lose. <laughs> Sir, you just lose. You should have done this to at least get my Link Karibo out of circulation first. Honesty, Neos. That's not doing anything. This isn't Gym Knights. I'm not trying to attack you. It is Gym Knights. And I'm trying to attack you. But with effect damage. Um, okay, so this Grinder Golem goes here. And then I get to just make Security Dragon. To get this. And then I get to activate the Security Dragon. <laughs> Putting the Grinder Golem back into my hand. Um, so what I have to do is that I do have to... Uh, I have to get rid of the... Uh, I have to get rid of the Dark Law before anything else major happens. Um, this is already bounced, right? Yes, it has. Okay. Uh, so I can get rid of these four into this Firewall Dragon. And then I can use this Firewall Dragon... Um, to bounce and do all my stuff. I've already got Brilliant Fusion. Um, I don't want to banish my shit, though, is the thing. Uh, so I think I need to bounce this, but I could possibly bounce more. I don't, I don't think it matters. Um, we'll just we'll bounce this Grinder Golem, and we'll just keep doing what we're doing, uh, and eventually things will work out in my favor, because I'm doing a Grinder Golem combo, which invalidates the shit out of this Dark Law. Uh, but so we'll special this, and then I can go and get my Link Karibo back. Uh, I can go into Kairos, um, which is, would be fine, I suppose. 
Uh, la, 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 la. Or I could just go straight into a firewall. I can go straight into a firewall and then not really worry about it because I could go into Phantom Core off of the Rescue Rabbit. Which gives my Brilliant Fusion. Yeah, okay, sure. That works. Um, so I'll get rid of all these. Uh, so I shouldn't have actually brought back the... Uh, shouldn't have actually brought back the... The Link Karibo, because now that's just gone, but... I mean, that's fine. We'll bounce this Dark Law, and now... Um, I need to activate this Brilliant Fusion, which can go into Lady Brilliant Diamond, uh, which I can then tribute herself. Uh, what is this? Back to the front. Target a monster in your graveyard, special summon in defense position. Cool. Shadow Mist. Alright. I fucks with it. Only slightly. Um, but so, I will send... I've got no vanillas in grave, so I will send Lapis, I will send Lazuli, and I will send, um, I will send a, uh, another Lapis. Uh, because I've already got Lapis in my hand, so there's no reason in invalidating my, uh, there's no reason for invalidating my, uh, fucking, uh, Rabbit. Because so the Rabbit's just gonna get my, uh, my Garnets out of my deck. <sighs> so, is this another mass change? Because it's not going to really do much for you. Um, let's see. I can s now do this. Tributing itself. And I'll summon uh, the Master Diamond. Yeah. Yeah. Master Diamond here. Um, do I wish to use Firewall Dragon's effect? Fuck yes, I do. Um, so that'll summon this Rescue Rabbit out of my hands. So now at this point, if he summons another Dark Law, it doesn't matter to me. Um, he's got two special summon monsters on the field. That's another thing Grinder Golem does is that it lets you burn for more. So that's another reason why that card's just actually the goo. Um, <laughs> but so from here, we'll just summon two Garnets. We can make Phantom Core, search Gym Knight Fusion, and then things should be good to go. Uh, so we'll do these two up here. Uh, do I want to use this Firewall's effect? You know what? I actually might. Because then I could bring back this Crystal Rose. Um, so I'll go chain link one, chain link two. Uh, Crystal Rose can be summoned out of my hand, and I can do something with it. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it at this current point in time, but I know that I can send stuff to grave, and that makes me moist. Um, it is a rock, so I can use it, um, for this, right? No, it has to be Lapis plus a Gym Knight monster, so I'd have to use this to copy a name, right? Um, so yeah, I'll do that. Uh, so I will use its effect to copy a name, and I'll copy the name of a Garnet, because I don't want more of those in my deck. And so then from here, I can go into Gym Knight Fusion, and I can get rid of the Crystal Rose plus the Lapis in my hand. Okay, cool. He doesn't have it. Neat. I thought he might have another mass change, but he just doesn't have it. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, yes, I would love to do this, because this lets me have more special summon monsters on the field, which means that I get to burn him for more dablage. Um, so let's see, we'll send a Lazuli from deck to grave, you take 4k, this effect will activate, adding a Lapis back to my hand, doesn't really matter what I add back, um, and now from here I can activate my Gym Knight Fusion to banish just something, doesn't matter. Uh, now I have access into uh, Gym Knight Fusion with 1, 2, and 3 into another Diamond, uh, which allows me to then banish this, and everything's fine. There's only two Diamond, two Lazuli in this list, because with Phantom Core you can shuffle back the first Diamond. Um, you can shuffle back Diamond and, uh, and the copy of Lazuli's, so like it's super easy. Um, so yeah, another Diamond with this, with this, and with this. And so, this is here. Will I use Firewall Dragon's effect? Yes! I'm gonna summon this Ash Blossom from my hand in defense mode. It doesn't need to be summoned, but I'm going to summon it anyway. Uh, but so I'll do that, banishing this, and then you activate this and you send the other copy of Lady Lapis Lazuli from your extra deck to the graveyard, and then you win. And it's easy! Even if I didn't summon that Ash Blossom, I could have done the exact same thing with the other Master Diamond, because with the other Master Diamond, there's now that new copy of Lady Lapis Lazuli in Grave. And everything's, you know, good. Everything shifts in your favor. Um, so, like, this deck just becomes really ignorant in terms of how it achieves win conditions. Gym Knights went from being a battle deck that focused on, like, Citrine and stuff, 
went to being a going first deck that focused on putting out big boards when Brilliant Fusion and Absorb Fusion came out. And now, it's just, it's a deck that has evolved with the times and now it just kills you through effect damage. <laughs> what a time to be alive, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, well, we'll try to fit more, one, uh, one more game into this. Let's see what we can get. Alright, please. No, I don't get to go first. That sound, that feels so terrible, but at the same time, if I can go second and I can just bounce your board with Firewall because of Grinder Golem, that kind of works for me. If my opponent even decides to show up. If he shows up. If my opponent shows up. If my opponent shows up. There he is! There's the man, the big boy! Alright, so I don't have any hand traps, so that means going second into a field of virtually anything threatening is going to be a bit of a problem. Actually, evenly matched would be a really good card for this deck, now that I think about it, because you literally don't attack your opponent. You just even, you can evenly match their board away. Oh, wow, Zephyrus. Alright, cool. I'm not sure if, uh, not sure if impressed or not. Nah. Because that Zephyr Link is kind of ridiculous in terms of, uh, in terms of how it's made. Because it requires three monsters summoned from the extra deck, which means you had to already be link summoning to make it. Otherwise, uh, it's a, otherwise it's a problem. Uh, but so okay, there's Zephraxy in the extra deck. Or is that Ze is that Zephraxy? Or is that uh, yeah, it is Zephraxy. Zephyr New is the level six. Um, and then Zephraxiton. Okay. So this is a one scale because of Zephraxy. This is that. So Pendulum. Pendulum everything. Uh-huh. So Fraxy here. I, you know what? I'm going to sit back and wait to be impressed. I'm waiting to be colored impressed. That's it? Only those two? I was expecting, like, these other two cards to come out of your hand. I'm not impressed anymore. I mean, that's a Define Strike. That's kind of cool. That's going to probably fuck me up, maybe. Um, heavy Metal Foes Electrum, eh? Yeah, this is literally better than the Zephyr Link. <laughs> Good on you for making that correlation. Hmm. All right. Let's see. Let's see how this shit goes. He put a uh, the effort the other teller Zephyr into his extra deck, and that's popping to add one back. It's weird. He hasn't normal summoned yet this turn, so that could be that could be something. What does this one do? Is this one the scrap dragon? It is the scrap dragon. All right. Uh, normal summoning Zephyr Windy. Okay. Windy can summon a Zephyr monster from your extra deck. No, we can add one from your extra to your hand. Okay. I haven't read the Zephyr cards in a long time. As you may be able to tell. Which one did he add back? Zephyr Exiton. Um. Okay. And that's a Zephyr Divine Strike. Cool. This is a Grinder Golem. <laughs> Oh no! Well, let's see if this gets Zephyr Divine Striked. If it doesn't, the Zephyr Divine Strike doesn't matter. He, Because if it- YES! Big boy! Thank you for doing exactly what I wanted you to do. Thank you, sir. Thank you! Now I'll Grinder Golem. Grinder Golem! Alright. So. Now I can Grinder Golem. Maxi? Uh, sure. You know what? I don't care. I'm living dangerously today. I'm already playing an FTK deck. I'm living dangerously. I don't give a shit. I bet you don't even play any real hand traps. Other than that Maxi. I don't give a single shit. Because I'm going to make Kairos. And I'm going to get that Gym Knight Fusion. And you're gonna learn today, big boy! Uh, so yeah, these go into this. I can use this to bounce this. And then I can summon this. Uh, I need my tokens first. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, cool. Alright. Okay, so that happens. And then firewall happens. Right down here. And then I get to activate this. See, I'm not even afraid of Zephyr War because he doesn't have two scales up, and like he needs scales up to have to make Zephyr War uh, an option. 
Um, so I will bounce the grinder golem. And then I'll use this. I'll activate this. And I'm going to call Gym Knight Fusion. Because if I get access to Gym Knight Fusion, then that changes what happens. Okay, hit none of it. But I did hit a Crystal Rose. That's still kind of good. All right. But so now, since I did not hit Gym Knight Fusion, I am going to go for my uh, Kairos play, uh, the Light Sworn Link, because that gets you access to the Gym Knight Fusion. Um, so this Link Karibo will go into this, because Kairos requires three different names. Um, and so we'll go boink, boink, boink into Kairos! And we'll use its effect. Um, now we'll use its effect. What is this effect? Um, yes, this and this. I, had, for some reason, I got lost in what I was doing. Uh, so, card to send from deck to grave. Fool! If I, if it isn't Gym Knight Fusion, I don't know what is. Uh, and then this gets to special summon uh, my Garnet from my hand, just because. And then this mills three cards, and that milled a Lazuli. Hell yeah! All right. We'll work with that. Um, so now I have access to the Crystal Rose and the Gym Knight Fusion, uh, of all things. And that Lazuli Mill is actually what makes this Gym Knight Fusion live without me having to make this into a Link Spider. That's hilarious. All right. So now, from here, I'm going to activate this. And I'm going to summon this Lady Lapis. I'm going to do it with this and an Obsidian. And this is going to happen. And then that Obsidian is going to bring back this Lapis. Right here. <laughs> this is unfair! This is unfair on a few different accounts. Um, okay, so, I do require to make... Um, I can make this with these two. And then that would search another obsidian! <gasps> yes! It wouldn't get its effect, right? Um, no, it would! I don't have to fuse into its zones. Oh my god, this is so fucking wild. Um, yes, I would like to use this effect. I'd like to use this effect. Fuck it! Um, okay, so, what this means is that from my deck to my hand, I get to add an obsidian. And then from my hand, I get to special summon this. Uh, I'll special summon it way the fuck over here. Alright? And now there's a vanilla in my grave, so I can use this. If he has Ash Blossom, don't care! In fact, I don't even care about burning him at this point. I'm pretty sure I can special summon 11 more times with a firewall dragon on my field and with another firewall in my extra deck. Pretty sure that can happen. Uh, if he ghost ogres this, don't care. Effect still resolves. If he ash blossoms it, don't care. I'll gym knight fusion into master diamond, um, getting rid of it, uh, getting rid of it and uh, obsidian. And Garnet. Or, yeah. Yeah, that's how that would work. Um, and then Master Diamond would come out. The Garnet would come back. Uh, and then I'd be able to do so many activities. I can burn him for so much. Because he's got two Monster Special Summon on his field already. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's going to burn for 3k. Um, and I only have to do that three times. So it's pretty easy. It's pretty simple. Are you just going to wait and like time out? That's not how this is going to end. No, 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 no. That's not how this is going to end. Uh-uh. Not today. Not today, please. Please, no. I want to actually kill you by decking you out. That's Or burning you to death. But nothing involving battle. This is a no attacks. Uh, this is a no attacks gameplay video. No attacking necessary. Um... Come on. Come on. I'm so upset. This is actually just the cuckiest thing you could do. But I don't care. Because I can sit here and I can handle it. Because I have nothing better to do with my time right now. I sat down to record. I, would, I didn't have to clear my schedule for this. This is my schedule. <laughs> okay, yeah, cool. Sure, I win. Time limit up. That is such a... Ooh, anticlimactic way to handle that. Um, but I hope you understand what was going to happen here. 
This was going to send a Lazuli from my deck to grave, which was going to add back my Lapis that's in my graveyard to my hand. Burn for 3k. And then, uh, I have the ability to go Gym Knight Fusion with this, with the Obsidian, and with the Garnet into a Master Diamond. Uh, and then that Master Diamond can copy and burn. Uh, things come back off of Obsidian, and then I have at least another Fusion. And then I could clear away my Diamond and, um, and the, uh, the Kairos into another Firewall Dragon up here. Uh, just linking away with my Master Diamond. And then I could use Phantom Core to summon another Master Diamond into this zone opened by this Firewall by paying the Thousand. And then that's easy. Like, that doesn't even require another Gym Knight Fusion activation, which I do have, because I'll have access into a vanilla that's been added from my graveyard to my hands, I'll have access to at least one more obsidian that's going to stay in my hand off of the first Master Diamond play. Like, there's no way that I didn't win this game by either burning him or through all those special summons making his last 11 cards go away. And it looks like he didn't play any real hand traps, interestingly enough. Either that or he did and he just went away from his computer. Uh, I mean, I could understand why people would do that, but anyway. I guess that's going to be the last game for this video, because that was a 10-minute game, so whatever. And it was sort of a maxi challenge, although it ended very anticlimactically. Makes me upset! But yeah, so I guess that's going to be it for this video. I will be doing more Gym Knight Duel videos in the future. I look forward to never having to attack with this deck again, because it's been modernized. We have a way to burn for game super consistently now. Like, the, that's the evolution of Gym Knights. We went from really good at battle to really good at putting up boards and battle. And now really good at putting up boards with burn damage. <laughs> so that's how this works. Uh, but anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. And let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below as per usual. Links is always in the description to my Facebook fan page as well as my personal Patreon page. If you want to support the channel directly, if you really like the videos I've been doing, then Patreon is the best way to do so. Even something as little as a dollar a month is a fantastic way to show your support. And you'd have my eternal gratitude if that's something you'd like to do. But other than that, as I've already said, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. Thanks for your time as usual, guys and take care. I'll see you in the next video. Alright, so now that the video's over, I'd like to give a special thanks to Iradium, Jay Garcia, Yuki Phoenix, Troy Perkins, and Eric Gertson, as well as everybody else that is currently supporting me on Patreon this month. You guys help out a ton, a lot more than you may ever know, and you have my eternal gratitude. You guys are forever awesome. Thank you so much for the support, you guys.